life is like a series of sentences for me with multiple punctuation marks i have always been fascinated by full stop the most for what it means for different people right the end end of sentence end of whatever was going on in life finale or failure so come let me tell you a story about me and my fear of full stops i mean uh, failures i mean full stop come let's find out chapter 1 बड़े होके क्या बनूं? माय मदर आस्क मी दिस क्वेश्चन व्हेन आई वाज अबाउट सिक्स और सेवेन इयर्स ओल्ड एंड इट टुक मी लेस देन अ सेकंड टू रिप्लाई आई वांटेड टू बी अ होम मेकर जस्ट लाइक हर यू नो डैड हैड अ बोरिंग जॉब ही वेंट टू ऑफिस एंड केम बैक एंड रिंस एंड रिपीट माय मॉम ऑन द अदर हैंड शी वॉज अ होम मेकर एंड शी वॉज फैब्यूलस शी यूज टू डू एवरीथिंग फॉर मी लाइक शी वॉज एन आर्टिस्ट शी यूज टू पेंट ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स she used to cook us the best food made me the best dresses gave me the best hair cuts and even did my homework with me was fabulous fabulous at maths you get the drift by now but she didn't she was mad at me she gave me a whole lecture about being more ambitious in life choosing a career path becoming someone so hence began my biggest quest in life what do i want to be See I was a very average student in high school. So the basic career options were out of the picture. I used to hate science and run away from maths. So doctor too much science, engineer too much maths, pilot too much maths, archaeologist like Indiana Jones, dig up treasures and be rich. But soon my grandpa told me that real archaeologists rarely find anything other than flies stuck in rocks. So I had to get really serious in life about my career choices. hence i decided to be a witch for a large part of my teen i was just waiting for hagrid to come and take me to hogwarts and life was going to be sorted right but then by now everybody was tired of my gimmicks my parents my teachers and even my universe so i had to take an aptitude test in this very own school choitram school introduced it in the state for the first time and it was the only test where i was actually looking forward to the results when my dad walked into the uh, guidance and counseling office he was asked if he had any expectations that his kid would be a doctor or an engineer you see he was asked this question because it was an era of that competitive exams everybody was either sitting for iit or medical entrance exams but i had rejected those options right at the start remember so thankfully my aptitude test rejected it as well i was very happy the person told my father that i could be a great lawyer or an rj or a vj anything creative and i would rock it but lawyer i could never win a fight with my sister and i'll be a lawyer no chance rj sounded interesting um i would nobody would get to see me i would get to talk about everything under the sun and yet i would be famous best of both worlds for me so done it was decided i wanted to be an rj and my parents finally took a sigh of relief they didn't have to find any more career options for me so yes then began my journey of becoming a radio jockey chapter 2 you're not good enough to be a radio jockey this is what first time when i went for a rj audition at radio mirchi this is what they told me You see back then media was not a very cool thing for a girl to do it was supposedly an edgy profession so on my first day of orientation at college they told me that i should be ready to burn the midnight oil if i was a girl choosing to enter the field of media but i wanted to be an rj so media was the place for me so when radio mirchi came at my college to recruit rjs i walked into the studio with an air of confidence and came out looking like a deflated balloon because they told me I was not I did not have the voice of an RJ now I can't change my voice but I tried every single time every single radio station and they told me the same thing but what did I do I didn't cry like kajol saying mera pehla pyar adhura reh gaya I decided to hustle life was just getting started right this can't be my full stop so I decided to do any job that I could find while doing a masters degree So at one point of time I was a kids uh, MC at a mall I was uh, selling 
fat loss tea and magic crystals on worldwide shopping networks i wrote scripts for them i sometimes anchored in those videos i decided to tell the world that if i can't be an rj i'll be anything under the sun but but what i thought would be the full stop of my life turned out to be just a comma 2 years later i got recruited by star plus chapter 3 adulting 101 now before i move on to the rest of my story i would like to pretend that this is my oscars award function and i would like to thank my parents especially my father who accompanied me with unconditional support on the roller coaster ride of finding me a career path meanwhile my poor mother just secretly prayed that i don't actually turn into a witch and yet always always <laughs> supported all my fancies but none of them ever forced me to choose a career path where i was not ready to go you know parents play a very crucial role at this point of time in our lives when we are not quite adults but we really wanted to be treated like one and want to desperately want to make our own decisions so hats off to them for taking all our tantrums being with us through all the wins and fancies and yet providing us a good life so okay end of oscar speech we'll go to the next part of the story i was finally in the uh, city of dreams mumbai okay i was ready to be a hotshot producer at star plus my mother and my grandma used to think that i would know all the story lines of all the shows and they used to think that i would have all the tv industry gossip with me so every other day i would get a call asking that what's going to happen on the next episode of sathya or they would ask me when is sushant getting married to ankita and i was like how would i know i i am a producer like i don't do all of these things but they didn't get it at one of the days i got a different kind of a call my parents were in an accident my mother had a brain injury and slipped into a coma my father had a knee injury and was thankfully all right 6 months into the new job i was faced with a real life challenge at the age of 21 i truly became an adult my mom was in the icu and my ma- my dad had to be on a wheelchair for some time so i was handling everything right from hospital logistics to be there for my sister to take care of the medicines and yet somehow i had to go back to mumbai to the new job i even decided to quit my 6 month old job but my father told me that life does not go on pause because of a personal calamity so i should resume my job for the next few years i realized what is life without a mother you see moms are like our instruction manual to life and how do we operate without an instruction manual i guess one day at a time and i would tell you all in the most cliched way possible next time your mother calls please pick up don't get irritated because guess what my last call with my mother was a fight and she never spoke another word again and also ranbir kapoor and rockstar was given the right exa- advice jab tak life mein pain dukh dard aansu na ho koi artist nahi banta hai i wrote the best poetry of my life during this point of time i worked hard to prove myself in office and i worked harder to prove to myself that i could do all of it together you know career professional responsibilities personal responsibilities financial issues everything but uh, at the end of it i realized that what uh, zakir khan said was correct professional goals are temporary but personal loss is permanent while i saw myself grow in my career i saw my mother's condition deteriorate she passed away in 2014 after 3 years of being in a coma this was definitely a full stop in my life isn't it chapter 4 burnout at 25 so within 6 months of my mother passing away i didn't know how to function at my job i had worked so hard at the job that i literally had nothing else inside me to give to the world of television i didn't know what did i do wrong but somehow at the age when i was supposed to get a promotion and a hefty raise i had to take a sabbatical from my job i had done some pretty great shows at star like veera sachka samna saraswati chandra 
बट इन दी एंड डिड आई फेल आई सैट होम एंड कॉन्टेम्पलेटेड ऑल ओवर अगेन वॉट टू डू इन लाइफ आई मीन हाउ वॉज आई बैक हियर अगेन एट ट्वेंटी फाइव बड़े होके क्या बनोगे अब तो बड़े भी हो गए बट आई डिट नो आई सीरियसली डिट नो वॉट टू डू सो आई डिसाइडेड टू गिव अ चांस टू द पी एन टी पी एच डी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम्स एंड विच ऑल्सो आई फेल थ्राइस बाई द वे बट नन द लेस आई कुड ऑलवेज गो बैक टू स्टडिंग राइट इफ आई डिट नो वॉट टू डू नेक्स्ट बट 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 वॉट आई थॉट वुड बी द फुल स्टॉप ऑफ माई लाइफ टर्न आउट टू बी कॉमा वंस अगेन सोन आई गॉट द ऑपरचुनिटी एट इरोस इंटरनेशनल टू बी ट्रेन एज अ स्क्रीन राइटर बाई श्रीधर राघवान ही इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन द इंडस्ट्री इन द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री आई वॉज सपोज टू बी हायर्ड एज अ फिल्म राइटर एंड देर वॉज स्टिल अ क्रीपिंग डाउट इन साइड मी दैट वॉज आई गुड इनफ फॉर दिस राइटिंग फिल्म आफ्टर फेलिंग एट माई फर्स्ट जॉब बट आई ब्लूम लाइक अ फ्लॉर इन दिस राइटर्स रूम आई नेवर न्यू आई हैड सो मेनी स्टोरीज इन साइड मी I channeled all my dramatic relatives, all the funny characters and friends I found around me, and I made stories out of them. The first two stories that I pitched were actually approved for a big or big Indo-China film collaboration with superstars on both sides. One of the stories was about a zookeeper from Indore who was to go to China to get a panda. Kabir Khan was supposed to direct it. We even went to China for a recce, but this was back in 2017. But but but, this is my dramatic life after all. How could things go well? You know the pattern by now. In these two years, there were about eight films that got approved, but eventually the studio lost money and pulled out of it. This definitely looked like a full stop, didn't it? But I knew by now, the universe used to play this game with me. it always had a backup plan so here came plan b c d e and f of so many stories that i had pitched at eros many of them were rejected and one of the rejected ones stayed with one of one other colleague of mine who went to z studios and pitched the same story they called me to make a film out of it and that is how my only claim to fame so far suraj pe mangal bhari was made on 6 january 2020 It was a surreal experience for me because I stepped inside a studio where my film was coming alive. It was being shot. What I had written, actors like Manoj Bajpayee and Diljit Dosanjh had liked and agreed to play the parts in the film. But did you notice the date? Six January twenty twenty. Three months later, as we were wrapping up the shoot, the world was wrapping up to go into a lockdown. The film was released on fifteenth of November twenty twenty. not on ott but in theaters apart from the critics there were only three people in the theater me my husband and my father i never i didn't know whether to laugh or cry at the irony of it all but sitting at home in the lockdown i was convinced this was it for me my film career was over full stop had found me once again and there was no coming back from this i had to find anything anything for comfort at this point of time so i turned to food i love to cook always so i started baking bread at home soon my friends got to know about it and the news spread like wildfire in the board of boredom of lockdown before i knew it i was baking about 30 loaves of bread a day and here is when my beloved husband turned my this baking hobby into my very own business venture and lemony loaves was born During the pandemic when I thought my anxiety would get the better of me a lot of my pending rejected stories came to life and I started writing shows for OTT and TV I wrote a lot of shows like Lal Ishq Fana Ishq Mein Mar Jawa did some films as creative producer right now I'm writing a film for another prestigious studio and I plan to write a book someday moral of this long dramatic story is that failure is never a full stop it's just a comma life moves on to something bigger and better after it look at me i am an example of it right here these days when people ask me what do i want to do in life i have a whole list of things i am a screenwriter a creative producer 
a PhD scholar, an assistant professor, and a baker. I have to take a pause because there is a whole list. All because I had so many full stops. I mean failures or full stops. My favorite writer, Rudy Francis Francisco, says, failure is when you talk yourself out of becoming something amazing. So please do not talk yourself out of it, no matter how bad the failure is. Wrong career choice, bad marks, bad interview, personal failure, professional failure, whatever it is, I promise you, there's always, always something better waiting for you. Be kind to yourself. Remember that you are unique in your own way and don't listen to your inner critic. Thank you for being such a lovely audience. Thank you for listening.